Can HIV Treatment Prevent AIDS? Hello folks, it's Mark Medicals as usual teaching you about HIV infections like HIV symptoms, HIV testing, and all about HIV transmission. In this video, you will also learn about the following. 1. What is the best treatment for HIV? 2. How can an HIV patient prevent the development of AIDS? 3. Can AIDS be reversed to HIV? 4. Can you get AIDS without HIV? So as you can see this is a good video answering many questions so stay tuned guys. Alright here are the answers. 1. What is the best treatment for HIV? For our subscribers, you already know all about the best HIV treatment so far because most of the videos on this channel talk about antiretroviral therapy or HIV medications. You also already know how far are we close to finding HIV cure, because, I have been giving you all updated as far as the latest HIV cure news is concerned. Hope you guys know everything about HIV cure research from American Gene Therapy, the latest HIV cure research from the University of Maryland, Chinese companies, Temple University, and so many others. As we talk now, we do not have HIV cure but hopefully, we shall have HIV cure soon as far as HIV research is concerned. The only way for people living with HIV to have better living conditions is by taking daily medications. ARVs in form of daily pills, or 1-2 to two monthly injection is the only way to treat your HIV today. Recently, Cabinova which is nothing but a combination of Cabotegravir and Rilpivirine has been approved and added to your options as injectable HIV treatment. 2. How can an HIV patient prevent the development of AIDS? If your HIV is left untreated, you will most likely develop AIDS in 10 years. The bad news is that, people who have been diagnosed with AIDS can only live for 3 years unless they go for HIV medicine sooner than later. After you have been infected with HIV, the virus will slowly destroy your CD4 cells till counts of less than 50 copies, below which you will be diagnosed with AIDS. Your HIV medication's role is to help your body rebuild your immune system by increasing your CD4 cell counts. People with no HIV, or those with strong body immunity usually have 600 to 1500 CD4 cell counts. You will start feeling the effects of HIV once your CD4 cells fall to below 500 cells, otherwise, you will still be healthy while living with HIV. You can prevent yourself from developing AIDS by taking your HIV medications. 3. Can AIDS be reversed to HIV? I earlier said that, once you have developed AIDS, you will most likely live for less than 3 years. Though people with AIDS have challenges due to various infections, taking your medications very well could help you reverse AIDS back to mere HIV infection. If your CD4 cells rise to above 200, then definitely you will be a little safer though not healthy. Any person living with HIV should aim at having a CD4 cell of above 350 to 500, and of course should aim at a viral load of below 200. People with undetectable viral load, i.e. below 200 do not carry a risk of infecting their partners. 4. Can you get AIDS without HIV? HIV slowly destroys your body's immunity leading to the AIDS stage, the final stage of HIV infection. AIDS is a syndrome, or a range of symptoms, that may develop in time in a person with HIV who does not receive treatment. A person can have HIV without developing AIDS, but it is not possible to have AIDS without first having HIV. So, AIDS and HIV are different terms, though people use them as if they have same meaning. If left untreated, HIV always leads to AIDS which is nothing but a group of infections or diseases. So, simply, it is not a must that people with HIV always have AIDS. As a bonus, if you are HIV negative but had exposure to HIV infection, fourth generation HIV test and HIV RNA test will give accurate results from 50 days onwards. Using the antibody-only rapid test, your results will be accurate after 90 days.